Now when we get ready to start our basket weave, we're going to start out with a regular chain, just like every other pattern I've ever learned. So you're going to take the end of the yarn, you're going to wrap it around your finger, and just put that yarn behind there, right there, and you're going to get a nice little pretzel shape. Go ahead and take your needle and hook that piece of yarn right there, hold on to your ends, and pull up. And with that, we have our first loop. So with your loop on your needle, you're going to take your yarn, and for me, it helps to control it if I weave it between my fingers like this. And make sure that your loop is tight around your needle. You're going to wrap yarn around it. You're just going to use your hook to pull it through, and that's one chain. And we're going to chain two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want this piece to be nine across because the basket weave pattern, or at least in this particular instance, which I find really makes nice squares, is these, these are different groups of three. So whenever you do this pattern, you want your first initial chain to be some sort of multiple of three. Now, because this is a double crochet pattern, I'm going to chain two more because those are going to be the ones that end up standing up to set my height for my first row. So I've got nine, so this is going to make it ten and eleven because these two chains are going to go up once I turn this piece and start our first row. 